you were telling us that the outage itself was not that big of a surprise, but perhaps the FAA's reaction was overkill. What was your thinking when you first heard the news? Well, I was, I was amazed that it required a complete ground stop across the U.S. I, I don't think that was necessary at all. Remember, the NOTAM system, the Notice to Airmen system, is a system of convenience. The information contained in NOTAMs is of safety critical uh, importance, and pilots need to have that information. But go back to where it used to be. Uh, you can get it through other means. Uh, it was designed to reduce the amount of radio transmission between ground control or the control tower or the en route center uh, so pilots could get this automatically. You still can get it from the tower. You still can get it from ground control. You still yeah. can get it through the en route center. You can get it through the company operations uh, frequency. You can get it from the dispatchers. Uh, the, the general aviation community can get it, can get NOTAMs uh, through their um, uh, flight service stations. So you can still get that information in order to have the necessary safety uh, information to, to the pilots. It's just that it was inconvenient. Yeah. The normal way of doing it is to get it through the NOTAM system, well, and well, that NOTAM system went down. Well, I'm curious, Alan, there's been a lot of speculation about why they decided to ground everything, and there was some chatter here about the idea that there would be too much inequity between how each individual airline responded. So you would have some airlines that might have uh, actually weathered this uh, relatively uh, decently, and then other airlines that basically wouldn't have been able to get any flights up. And so the idea was to try to be more equitable. Yeah, I, I think this equity theme uh, is a little bit over uh, overused, and especially when it comes to aviation. Um, airlines need to have contingency plans. They need to they need to know how to get information to their pilots if they have had these kinds of problems. And uh, some airlines have better uh, dispatch systems mm -hmm. and operations than others, and some don't. So, was this the FAA being extra cautious in light of Southwest's problems earlier this year? to prevent another Southwest debacle? I, I think the FAA would have been well served to tell airlines, get the information to your pilots through another means, and we'll get the NOTAM system up as soon as we can. Uh, but to have a complete ground stop across the country, that, that was way overkill. Uh, Alan, given your career, not, not just with the FAA, but just in the aviation business, you've obviously dealt a lot with regulators uh, in Washington, and we've already heard from several congressmen already sort of uh, sharpening their knives, trying to figure out uh, what changes they might want to try to force upon the FAA. Uh, if, if you had the ear of some of these uh, Congress members, I mean, what would you advise them to do, or, or, or would you advise them not to do anything? Well, I advise them to learn about the system. Uh, we have a lot of people talking about uh, as if they, they understand the aviation system, and they really don't. And I think one of the jobs of the FAA and of the industry is to make sure that our elected officials are at least knowledgeable of what's going on out there so that they don't jump to these uh, conclusions. Okay, having said that, what is one change that can be made that should be made uh, if Congress can get ever get around to, to, to reaching consensus on anything? Well, I, I think um, there's already a Transportation Oversight Committee, but I, I think to encourage the FAA to modernize its NOTAM uh, uh, system so that it's, it is up to the task of the current demands, uh, that would certainly be helpful and give them the resources to do so. So where do we go from here, uh, Alan? I mean, there, there's been so much talk here about this breakdown. And look, I mean, we've had uh, other sort of breakdowns in the FAA system in the past. It just happens from time to time here. But when you look at the general health of our aviation system, uh, how things are trafficked and how, and more importantly, uh, the end user experience, meaning for people like me who are flying here, I mean, how do you rate it, particularly compared to what you were uh, uh, privy to back in the 80s? Well, safety is paramount. So uh, in the interest of, of um, absence of, of automated systems and all, reverting to a safe system is just fine. But we ought to recognize that there, there's a responsibility to have contingency plans because not everything works all the time. And so I think it'd be wise for the industry to get together, pilots get together, ALPA, the flight attendants, everybody ought to get together and say, build contingency plans so that when these automated systems are, are, are fail or yeah. are fragile, we can still get the information to you.